All right, how's it going? My name is Brian Long, and for my Stackathon, I did a DraftKings lineup optimizer for the golf competition. So basically, the way DraftKings golfs work is that you have to pick six players while staying under the total salary cap of 50,000. So basically, the way that this would typically work is that you would go through the list of players, and you see here they're assigned a certain salary. So Jim Furyk has a salary of 10,200. So you need to pick six players where the total salary is less than 50,000. So we could go through and say, okay, I want Jim. I want Scott Piercy. I want this guy, John. I want Billy. Um, I want Siwoo. And oh, we have one player left but we can only spend $1,100 on that player. Well, there isn't a single player in the field who is uh, an $1,100 salary. So this becomes very uh, complicated very quickly because um, basically you need to pick uh, the players based on the salaries that are gonna fill the actual lineup. So I wanted to do this uh, not by picking players, but by picking stats. So what I've done here is that for this specific tournament field, um, this is the list of stats that we have to basically choose from to optimize our lineup. So if I think that this week's tournament, the players that are going to win are going to be best in driving distance average, well, I'm going to choose to include that stat in my uh, actual optimization calculation. So just for example here, uh, this is the server uh, console you can see here and let's go through and pick some stats. I think that the people that are going to be best this week are going to be great at getting birdies and they're going to be great at getting pars. So instead of trying to pick, like I said earlier, by names and salaries, well let's take that out of the equation and just choose stats. Okay, so let's click, let's optimize here and you can see behind the scenes the algorithm, it's called branch and bound algorithm is running and it is finding uh, the optimal lineups as you go through. You can see that the, there's a, okay, let, let's just look. Okay, so up top they have a total Z-score, and then each individual player is awarded their own Z-score. So we want to find the lineup that has the absolute highest Z-score, and we've done that here, and you can see that your lineup is uh, made up of these six players. This is not working because you can see we don't, uh, have a total of 96,000. It's actually 47,100. But you can do this many times over, um, picking different stats, and it'll basically give you different lineups. But let's say, for example, I love Siwoo Kim, and I want him in my lineup under any circumstances. Well, I can add him to my lineup and then fill the rest of the lineup based on picking stats. So for the last two tournaments, let's fill the rest of the lineup. You can just see here the optimization problem changes. Instead of six players, we're now doing five, and instead of $50,000, we have 41,100 to work with. So let's do it strictly on greens and regulation, and let's optimize. So it's working behind the scenes here. It takes a little bit because there is a massive amount of possibilities, but you can see it found the uh, best lineup to fill the rest of the lineup with these five players here. Uh, so so basically, there's, you know, there's a lot to be done as far as the statistical analysis and how you actually award these players um, their points. But as far as the optimization problem, we are certain that this, these five players for the stats that we chose are better than any other players in the field that we have to choose from. So that's my presentation.